Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to finally be saying those words again because it has been a hot minute since I filmed a video. I think my last one was my Born Pretty like spring nail collection video that I posted and then before that I don't even remember when the last time I filmed something was. But I'm really happy to be coming back with my Shop My Stash everyday drawer update because look how crazy this drawer is. I need to like clear this out and then a couple of things that I know I want to keep in here and then I really want to do like a big reset of this one. Um, probably my concealer section will shrink down a little bit. My lips will shrink down a little bit. This will probably change up a bit and then my creams will most likely stay the same just because I don't really have anywhere else that I put my creams so I just kind of keep them all in here. Same thing with like my one brow gel. I don't really know I'll probably end up just keeping that one in there. But regardless, let's go ahead and get into it. As always, let's go ahead and start off with just pulling everything out. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and start off with these products over here. Let me just adjust the drawer so you can see everything a little bit better. Um, but basically, first thing we have here... And this is the Thaler blush in the shade Vacation, which is so pretty. I did get a ton of use out of this, and I want to swap out as much of this as I can. So I am going to put that one back. Then I have this little Laura Mercier setting powder. This I'm also going to put back. I didn't really use it all that much, but I've just been working on using up some of my pressed powders, so I'm not going to reach for it. So that one can go back. Then I have these two ColourPop highlighters. I have this one in the shade Whimsical Ride, and then this one in the shade Jubilant Chorus. These are from the It's a Small World collection. I actually got this as a Christmas gift. I'm going to put back this one just because I've used it a lot, but I am actually going to keep this one even though I've used it a lot just because I really like having a nice super shock highlighter so I'm going to keep this one but put back the darker one. Then I have this powder here from NYX. This is the little HD finishing powder. This is just a mini size in the shade Translucent. I really, really like this. You can see, I feel like I'm about to hit pan. I wanted to try and start finding a replacement for my Pat McGrath one because this one is just about done. So I actually really, really enjoy this one. It's not as powdery as the Pat McGrath, but it does give a really similar finish to the skin and everything. So I do really like both of these. And yeah, I'm gonna actually keep both of them in here just because I've been kind of using them interchangeably. Then I have this blush from Chantecaille. This is in the shade Grace, which is the turtle one. I have really, really been liking this one, but again, I want to switch around my blushes a bit, so I'm going to put that one back. Then I have this one here from MAC, which this originally wasn't in my Shop My Stash for like the longest time. I actually pulled it in maybe only like two or three days ago, and then the last time I did a Shop My Stash update was like months ago. So I am actually going to keep this one in here because I'm like, I just really want to use this one right now, and I've been getting kind of sick of the ones that I had in here, so I am going to keep this one even though it technically wasn't in there I just pulled it in but I'll still count it as a keep um then for bronzer I have this one from NARS this is the Valyarda matte bronzer I really love this one I was really hoping I would hit pan on it before the next like time I did a shot my stash but I didn't um but I really want to switch around my bronzer so I'm going to put that one back then I have this blush in warm soul from MAC I have really really been loving this one and I'm really tempted to keep it in here but I think I'm going to switch it out just because I think I know which one I'm going to grab for. Um, this is a really, really good glowy blush and I've just really been enjoying it. But yeah, I'm going to put that one back. Then I have this one here from Primark. This is the PS Dual Tones blush in the shade. I don't know. I don't really even know if it comes in multiple shades, but this is what it looks like. It's a really, really glowy one. I think it's supposed to be kind of similar to like a Charlotte Tilbury one, like their pressed blushes. Um, but yeah, I am going to put that one back. Then I have my Fenty Diamond Balm. I'm not really sure how this ended up in my shop, my stash, because I don't use it every day. I do like to reach for it on occasion. It's super, super pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this one back because it's not too difficult to just like go a drawer down and grab for it if I need to. Because um, again, I really only use this on like nights out or like special occasions. So I'm going to put this one away. And then lastly, we have this one here from Wet n Wild. This is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter, and this is like a blush and highlight. Um, I mostly use it as like a blush topper. This one is a little bit too deep for a highlight, but for some reason, this one kind of works like a little bit better. Um, I have really, really been liking this one, but again, I've been using kind of the same stuff for a long time, so I'm going to put this one away. Then I have this little mini Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas um, Primer sample. So I guess I'll just stuff that back in there. Um, so let me go ahead and just put back in the things we are keeping, which is not much, just these four for now. 
so that section really cleared out definitely feeling good about that um then we'll go, i guess we'll go on to the lips oh and i have this random foundation here i don't know how this ended up in here but i have absolutely been tearing up my age rewind concealer i have this one in the shade 110 and this is like my perfect match for my skin tone it's really really good on me and i love the formula of this so i remember that they had the foundation i really wanted to try it um but i think the shade that i got a little bit deeper but it kind of works um it's like not too bad especially going into summertime and stuff like that i think it'll just end up you know being perfect for me gonna pull this one out just because i don't keep my foundations in here i just keep them sitting on top of my desk but i will be continuing to use that one and then my concealer again we'll get to that afterward um oh and for also powders and stuff i just always have these two palettes here this one from pat mcgrath which is really, really pretty. I always keep here. And then this one from Alamar as well with the two bronzers and the powder. So good. As you could tell, I really, really love the powder, but those just kind of live there and I do reach for them quite a bit. So I do like to keep those there. Now moving on to the lip portion of here, I have my Summer Fridays lip balms. I also have my original one that I first picked up in the shade Brown Sugar. I think that might be in a bag somewhere, so that may end up making its way back in here. Um, but I have the original clear one, which is just like the vanilla one. And then I also have a vanilla beige, which has a slight kind of beigey brownie tint to it i absolutely love these this has been like all that i'm wearing lately so hence why i have three of them but yeah i'm definitely going to keep these ones in here then i'll just kind of reach for a whole handful of them i have my clinique black honey almost lipstick which of course i am going to keep i use this every single day then i have this lana lips lip balm which i'm actually going to put back then I have this little M Cosmetics lip cushion in Venetian Rose, which I'm also going to put back. I just haven't really been wearing lipstick, really. Um, then I have this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Clear, which I, I would reach for it, but honestly, I have my Summer Fridays Clear Lip Balm that I like a lot better than this one, kind of in like the stick formula, so I am just going to put this one back as well. Then I have this from L'Oreal, or from Revlon, sorry. And as you can see, I got it from Harman for $7.99. Um, but this is in the shade Chocolate Luster, and it's really pretty. That formula that was kind of popular on TikTok, where it's, like, very, very shiny and glossy. And I ended up finding one of them, which was in this, like, nudish brown shade. And it's kind of cool, so maybe I will keep it in, because I've been liking formulas like that. Then my one and only actual lipstick I'm going to keep in here is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Glowing Gen, which is just so beautiful. I think I'm probably going to end up wearing this like on Easter, which is in a couple of days from the time that I'm filming this. It's the weekend coming up. The day I'm filming this is a Tuesday. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. And I have the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Mahogany. And this one, I really thought I would use it more, but I've been loving just like a straight up like tinted lip balm rather than like a tinted lip oil or gloss so I haven't been reaching for it a ton but whenever I do wear it like if I'm doing kind of more glam makeup I do really really enjoy this one because it's super glossy and very hydrating um so yeah I'm going to keep this one in here then I have a couple more things I have this one here from Trixie Cosmetics this is in the shade Scarlet Letter I guess I dropped it got a little dented up over here but this is one of my favorite glosses of all time it feels more like a liquid lip balm honestly and it has the just like prettiest tint to it um so i'm definitely going to keep this one i do love to reach for that one then i have this mini charlotte tilbury lipstick in the shade pillow talk medium and i'm going to put this one back since i am going to keep glowing jen then I have this Rowan lip balm in the shade Charlie, and this one, I love the formula of it, and I love how it looks, but it has a minty smell, which just isn't, like, my favorite, so I don't really reach for it as much. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to put that one back for now. Then I have another one of these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, and this one's in the shade Cranberry, which I actually really like. But I'm working on using up that um, Clinique Black Honey kind of before it expires, because I've had it for a very long time, and this one is a lot newer, so I'm going to put that one back. Then I have this one from ColourPop. This is one of their Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains in the shade Clock Tower, which again is from that same um, It's a Small World collection. And I do, again, really like this one, but I've just been reaching for my other ones, and I know I'm not going to use it right now, so I'm going to put that one away. This actually is not a lip product. This is a liquid eyeshadow that I did have in here, and then it got filled up in here, so it moved into the lip section. Um, but this is from NYX. This is one of their glow, Ultimate Glow Shots in the shade Come Through Coconut, and this is so pretty. It's like a white, kind of sparkly, shimmery liquid eyeshadow, and it's really pretty. I love using this on my inner corner or like even to do as like a little cut crease whenever I do eyeshadow, which hasn't been frequently, but I do like it. Even as a liquid highlight, it can be really pretty. So I'm actually just going to keep 
with that and move that back into here. Then I have my two lip liners. I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury, which is in Pillow Talk Medium 2. I'm going to keep. And then I have this one from Vintage Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Mocha. It's one of their cashmere lip pencils. This one I do really like, but again, I want to kind of work on just using this one up for now. So I'm going to keep that one and put this one away. All right, this section's looking good. Now we're going to move on to my concealers. And I'll just kind of pull these out and we'll go through them really quick and just decide which ones I want to keep in there. This one is newer to my collection. I got this um, from like an Ipsy Drop Shop, I believe. It's this one from KVD. This is their lightweight full coverage concealer. And I have the shade what Light 103. It's a very, very fair on me, but I do like it for brightening my under eyes. So I'm going to hold on to that one. I have my Benefit Boing Concealer, which, you know what, I'm actually going to keep this one in here, and I'm going to put back my Sephora Best Skin Ever, because they're very similar to me, like, they serve a similar purpose, and I've been using this one a ton, so I want to keep using my Benefit one a little bit more, so I'll put back the one from Sephora, and then same thing with this one from JCAT, this is the Stay Shurin's Water Seal Zero Smudge Concealer, also very similar to the Benefit one and that Sephora one, so I'm going to put this one back that way. I use the Benefit one because this one's a little bit older than those two, and I want to start on, again, like, continuing using things up. I also have this from Koki, this is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Fair. I've actually used up an entire one of these before, like, took the stopper out and everything, this is one of my favorite concealers. It's a little bit too dark for me at the moment, I think I need to kind of creep into summer a little bit more or maybe fake tan and then I can use this so I'm gonna put that one away then this one I already mentioned earlier that I've been using this a ton this is the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser in the shade 110 this has been perfect and it's making my skin look so good so definitely gonna keep that one in then I have my rare beauty eye brightener I'm gonna put this one back since I have these two brightening ones the benefit and the kvd so I'll put this one away and then lastly, I picked up a little mini of the Kosas, like, I think it's called the Revealer Concealer, which again, this one's a little bit tan on me, but you know what? I'm just going to keep it in here because I want to test that out a little bit more. Um, so that's going to be it for concealers. And then last thing, I'm not going to take anything out of here, but I will just really quickly go through what's in here. And these are all of like my cream type of products. I also have this Bare Minerals Powder Concealer that I keep in there because I don't use it very often, so it's kind of far back in the drawer. Uh, but I have this here from Milani. This is the liquid contour in the shade 01 honey i've been loving this one i've been trying to slowly find a replacement for this one because my charlotte tilbury one is almost completely empty i can't really even squeeze all that much out of it anymore um so i'm gonna keep that one and i do really like this one not the same color at all but they do serve a very similar purpose once they're all blended out so i do like that then i have this one here from charlotte tilbury again this is the glowgasm beauty light wand in pink gasm absolutely love that one this one is new actually i picked this up during the ulta 21 days of beauty the bondi bay all over face bronzer and this one i really like um i don't draw it directly on my face like i try drawing it and then like blending out with that brush but it looks really bad and like super patchy but what i do is i just kind of twist it up a little bit take like a foundation brush and um just apply it that way and i find that it really works and from like the same sort of collection as the liquid contour i have a liquid highlighter from lani because people were saying that this is similar to the one from charlotte Tilbury like the spotlight highlighter and I have this one in the shade 01 lunar and it's actually very very pretty so I'm going to keep that one in here then I have this from rare beauty I have the blush in the shade hope I've been using this a ton and I think it's super beautiful and then lastly I just keep my one eyebrow gel that I've been using which is this one from Innisfree it's the skinny brow mascara in the shade espresso brown and I really really like that one so this isn't going to change this section over here but let me just clear out the hair that's in here and then now I think we can go ahead and move on with with putting everything away and then pulling some new stuff to go in here. So we definitely need some blush, some bronzers, and some lip products, which let me put back a couple. I think this is all the lip products, which maybe I don't even need to pull lip products, but we'll see if anything down there intrigues me. I also just have my little under eye puff that I've been using with my powder and a sharpener. So now let's go ahead and move down a drawer, put some things away, and pick a couple more things. All right, so we've moved down a drawer now let's pull some stuff i'm gonna pull my kimchi chic highlighter i know i have my mac one um, but this is in the shade hollywood glow it is just so pretty and i love how bright and glowy it is and i feel like i've just been missing like a super nice bright highlighter so i'm gonna pull for that one and i'll put back the 
the blush. Actually, I've been kind of organizing them a little bit different, so I'll put my blush here. And then I'm also going to put back my Fenty highlighter for bronzer, I think. Oh, I'm going to pull this one for Makeup by Mario, definitely. I've really, really been missing this one. It's in the shade Light Medium. As you can see, I've hit a ton of pan in this, and I just really want to keep using it. So I'm going to pull for that one. I'm going to put back this blush. I'm also going to put back my MAC one um let's see we need another blush pull for my rare beauty one this one is in the shade nearly neutral which is super pretty it's kind of like a cream to powder type of formula so i really like that one put that back um i'm also gonna pull for my milani luminoso i really want to work on using that one up and it's one of my favorite um, one of my favorite blushes put back my chantecai i'll stick this wet and wild one with the other one that i have behind it I'm also going to put back my NARS bronzer, and I'm going to put back this, and then really quick, do I want to pull anything from here? This She Glam blush is so pretty. It's very similar to the Rare Beauty one. Um, it's in the shade Love Cake. It's like a really pretty kind of like baby pink color, so I'm tempted to pull that, but I think I'm just going to stick with the Rare Beauty one for now. I also have the contour, which is intriguing me, but I don't know. I think maybe we'll just leave it at that for now yeah we'll leave it at that for now i think we're good with blush and everything so we have two blushes a bronzer and a highlight so i think that that's good so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next drawer so we have this one here with all of like the lip products and everything so i'm gonna take my lip products and put them back i kind of have like lipsticks and then like anything that's not like a lipstick i don't know if i have these in here but i'll put them there. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need to pull for something that's maybe a little bit older. Maybe one of like my Tower 28 glosses. Maybe the one in Fire. Yeah, this one is in the shade of Fire. I really, really like this one. I've used up a whole mini of it and I think it's pretty. So we'll just pull that one for now. And then as far as all the rest of them go, I think we'll just kind of leave it at that and then maybe reassess next time. And then now this final drawer, way, way down below. I have a couple more concealers in here. Um, I think I'm not going to pull for any of them. I feel like I'm pretty happy with my concealers. Maybe, actually, I'll just put this little mini Tarte one in the shade. I think light. Yeah, it's in light sand 20S. So I'll just pull for that one because it's super tiny. And I've actually used up a bunch of it, and maybe I can finish it. And then I'm going to put back these other ones in here oh i also missed this little charlotte tilbury lipstick that i'm gonna throw in on top i also have my rare beauty and then i have this laura mercier powder to put back and i think i'm just gonna leave it there these are two foundations that i kind of reach for i don't wear foundation all too much but when i do i usually just reach for those and then again i have my maybelline instant age rewind but i'm just gonna leave this one up on my desk for now um, and then primer, I probably need to actually grab for, like, maybe a hydrating primer. Sorry if it looks a little different, um, my camera actually just died. But anyways, I was saying, I think I'm gonna pull this one from First Aid Beauty because my Stila One Step Correct that I've been using as, like, my hydrating primer is basically almost completely done, so I do need to kind of find one to sort of replace that one. So I'm gonna pull for this one from First Aid. And yeah, maybe we'll leave it at that. I also want to just mention, I use this setting spray at the moment. I have it in this little Fenty Beauty one, but I'm actually using up a pop-up a picture here, the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, like the glowy one. So I've just been using the ABH setting spray in this little Fenty bottle. Then for my SPF that I've been using as well as sort of like a mini primer, I just have this one from Beauty of Jose on, which is almost empty. So I went ahead and actually just picked up the Super Goop Everyday Lotion SPF 50. And I'm excited to try that one out. I used it like once or twice, but I really just want to focus on using this up. So yeah, this one is probably going to be in my empties soon. And then I also have my e.l.f. Halo Glow on my desk as well. as sort of like my glowy primer. But now let's go ahead and move back up to my everyday drawer and start putting everything away. Okay, I cannot believe how empty it is in here, but we're going to just put back everything that we pulled. And I'm so happy to have this be switched up a little bit and just use up some different products. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to put my concealer in there, my lip product, and this just feels good to do a nice full-on reset. I'm super happy with this, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. That is going to be it for now. I know that this was probably a little bit chatty uh, of a video, but again, I haven't filmed in such a long time, so it was nice to kind of 
of talk to you guys and just go through my makeup and do some fun stuff again. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!